garage again. I had to stop here and get some like a sandwich. I know I have food for now, but in the middle of the night, where I'm going to be, this time I didn't make a sandwich. Sometimes I'll make a sandwich from my house, but this time I didn't get the chance. So you all have a colleague who's always complaining. Whatever you do, however you do it, they'll complain. Whatever job they give him, whatever job they give her, complaining, complaining, this job is too long, this job is too short, this job is so difficult, this job is long delays, this job is too rushed. When I notice such a colleague, I start sliding a bit the other way. You know what I'm saying? What the person does with you is, you remember that thing of, uh, you're as good as the, the close people who you are with. It happens. If you're always nearby people who are complaining, in a short while you're going to be starting complaining. Have you ever seen people who make every job seem to be nice? How do you think they do it? They know the drill. They get the job and go and make it nice. As long as you deliver and get your tick, there's nothing else about it. On the other hand, Mr. and Mrs. complain and everything they get they complain even if they get the one they wanted they still complain I, I i avoid such people another one is job queries there are people who always be asking where are you going where are you going what job you go what you going you go what job you go it brings comparisons why you ask all the time I, i'm not into that habit i never ever meet people and ask where are you going what job are you going what it's not a big deal to me my task is what i've got and that's what i'm talking the only other thing, remember I said, I can ask if I need help. If I don't know a job, I can ask, hey, this can you, you know, help me with this one. How you get into this one? I do ask that a lot, and I don't mind asking, you know, people tell, asking me, and I tell them. Job queries, call, colleague? Nah. Then comparisons of jobs. If you, if a person always queries jobs, what job have I got? What job has he got? What job? Then they compare them. I don't want to hear all those comparisons. This one, you'll take too long. This one you get so tired. This one is so so easy. If you didn't know all those comparisons, you won't get in the lane of I'm being favored or I might not be favored. If you get into that lane, it's a hard place to be. Why else? It gives you bad vibes. People like that, they give bad vibes. Why else? Uh, not a long topic. This also, I wanted to say, also applies to the same thing in our lives if you're hanging with your mates or you're hanging with people who are jobless yeah jobless people or broke and you're the busy one you're a working person it always takes time you will lose your job why because you're thinking of your mates why is it me working my mates are at home my mates are in a party my mates are going somewhere my mates are relaxing they're probably not your real mates if you want to keep your job, your, your situation. Sometimes you have to let people go. I realize this is actually also related. You know? Your mates all have no job. You're the one with the job. It's only a matter of time. You find yourself like them because you're hanging with them, your mind and comprehension. I'm doing a lot of reading, you know, about mind and how our minds work. The mind so powerful. The mind can do its own things. If you give it the signs, it starts to process. That's the same game I was saying, oh, you can be ha unhappy, but trick your mind to be happy. It's true. If you start laughing and, uh, and look, you're doing happy things, your mind will start processing that you're happy. This is true. So, on the same note, me, if I see people who are a bit not like me financially, well, situation is changing and yours is not. That means I'm going to cut because I don't want to lose my situation. I'm working hard to improve. So if I'm going right up and my friends are keeping up, that means they are, they are not in my league anymore. So you have to release, isn't it? They're not in your league. They're not your mates. It's the truth. Unless you want to lose your league and get back down to them. I thought I would add that in. But yeah, people who don't smile... You all know me, man, and, you know, keeping the right mood, that's, you know, if you always have a hard face. Whether it's morning, evening, whether it's nice job, not nice job, early, late. With time, I'll just start to, you know, avoid. 
I'm not, I don't do it the childish way. Oh, I see that guy don't like smiling. Now I'm gone. No. I mean in, in, in with time. Start working out. Start thinking. That group, the other group, the other mate. I just thought I would throw this video uh, out since I got the chance. All right. The calling to avoid. Do not be obvious. It's not like you see the person and then you start running the other way. It's just walk your way away from people like that. You know what I mean? And please, colleagues, when you see me, can you not run away like the other way? <laughs> I hope I'm not the colleague that you want to avoid. You get me? So if you're the person with these characters, just stop it. Keep asking, keep investigating. Why are we going? Who that? If you want, if you do do a lot of comparisons, you're going to be in a bad place. Me, I'm a guy who I know this. I make every job look good. How? I just get it, I get content, and I go and do it. In the confusion, I've learned so many jobs. Yeah? In the Kavuyo, I've learned so many jobs. Kavuyo. <laughs> That's another one. Ugandan one. Kavuyo means confusion. In the Kavuyo, in the confusion, I've ended up learning so many jobs because I take any job, I never complain. You don't want to be in the Kavuyo. No, you don't want to be in Vuyos. So that's the new word for today. Hey, we're learning Ugandan languages. Mm, Ugandan language, African language we're learning. Okay, that is Luganda. The main, Luganda is the main language that people speak in Uganda. Even if there are so many other languages, I'm going to be telling you even I speak another thing that's not Luganda. Uh, that's a story for another day. Appreciate all of you. Stay safe. Have a nice one. Stay God bless and love. I'm going to do a video with the comedy and jokes. I think I'll do it for Saturday or Sunday weekend. Support me on that. Be full of comments and let me know what to do, how to do. Let me know how it's going. But uh, I don't want to tell only tracky stories. I like to talk about life. I like to be with a bit of humor. Yeah. I want to be an all-rounder YouTuber. I don't want to be just a one-dimensional person. But, yeah, mainly I'm a trucker who's working his way upwards, trying to own a truck, running, uh, operating trucks on the YouTube. With so many other hassles. I am actually thinking of doing a video showing hassles. How you want to put eggs in different baskets. You know what I mean? When they say don't put your eggs in one basket, I want to show you how I don't do that. Because I'm chasing about over five to six different hassles, different businesses. Bringing me money. Some of them are yet to catch up. But they are all to my streams of uh, looking for money. I think I'll do a video with time about about hassles that you can do as a tracker or even as any other person if you want to diversify. You see, one thing that this pandemic taught us was to have eggs in different baskets. Do not be having only one job and then they stop it and you're not a key worker and then they don't want to to pay you follow or they pay you follow. Now it's finished. Now they are telling you the job is ended. Now you're on scratch. You know, I always, 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 always thought as a business person, I don't know why, even if I had a job, I never ever wanted to just take money and, and count money and then that's it. No, I always thought, what can I do with this money that I just got? 